Hi, everyone. Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We had the uh, opportunity a few months ago to install our piano platform at the Salk Institute in San Diego. They have a lot of concerts there with a grand piano, and they weren't happy with the sound quality. One of the problems, obviously, is the room. It was really not designed uh, for that kind of situation in, in a lot of areas. And this is common in, in a lot of facilities. You know, they use rooms for multiple purposes and multiple usages. So you're going to get a little compromise on performance, one usage, you know, over the other. So what? let's just step back a little bit. And, and we, we kind of elevate these pianos on big platforms and we say, well, you know, they're such a wonderful instrument. So, but really, it's just a big speaker. That's all a piano is. It's just a big, big, big speaker. So the same rules that we apply in acoustics, we can apply here to the piano. It's big. I mean, the string bed is huge on a grand piano. I think they're seven foot long or something like that. So, so we have all this energy contained in this speaker cabinet, the piano. And where is that energy going? Well, it's going up. It's going down. It's going out the sides if it's low frequency energy. So it's really this huge radiating source of energy. And what's the closest boundary surface to it? The floor. So we're going to get energy from the string bed striking the floor. And that's a small distance. That's like three feet. So we're going to have all the, you know, speaker boundary, so to speak, interference effects going on in that three feet, bouncing back up through the piano, confusing and muddling the sound that's uh, being radiated from the piano from the tops and the sides. So we want to reduce that. Okay, so first thing we can do to reduce that is elevate get some more distance. Now, we can't get crazy. You know, we can't get three, four feet in the air, although there's times when I'd like to, but we can't have the pianist climbing a ladder to get to the piano. I mean, let's, let's face it. So we can elevate it a little bit, but if we elevate it, we want to elevate it, and we also want to absorb the excess energy that's being created from the piano to the floor. So we don't get any pr uh, pressure variances, you know, which can muddle and smear and blur the sound that we're trying to create. Comb filtering is another issue. So we get this rapid succession of reflections, you know, over a certain frequency range. We want to eliminate that. And in a platform, we can elevate and we can absorb at the same time. So it really accomplishes two purposes. And that's the beauty of, of our piano platform, our drum platform. And from physics, we know that to absorb the most energy, you want to put the absorption technology as close to the source as you can. Well, you can't get much closer to a piano than sitting on a platform, right? Because I mean, you're as close as you can really get to it. So that's the goal. Then the final thing is the isolation from the existing structure. Pianos are powerful. They produce huge amounts of energy, huge amounts of vibration. If they're sitting on a platform or a stage that's moving and vibrating, we're just compound, compounding our problem. So if we elevate, we absorb, and isolate those three variables at once with a platform, we're going to have a piano that sounds good. Now, once the energy is released into the room, that's a whole separate issue. But if we can get the source nice and tight and clean to begin with, you know, then we're on our way to achieving some good quality sound. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.